What's going on YouTube? Check her out. I'm making another video because I know you all want one. And today's drink of choice is uh, Twisted Tea Light. And no, I don't plan on beating nobody with it. I plan on drinking it because it's delicious. So, I know you all seen the video, I guess weekish so ago, where I did the Aqua Pure uh, Reverse Osmosis Water Filtration System unboxing. And I told you I was going to do a step-by-step -step video. I had it all done. I had it all completed, edited. It was actually a good video. I was really proud of it. I ended up deleting the files. <laughs> and I didn't get a chance to upload it. So I'm going to make another video and kind of compile everything a little bit quicker. And uh, so watch this. This is just a speedy video of me doing all the basic installation and stuff. That way you can uh, say you've seen it. And at the end of that, I'll go back into some pros and cons. The things that I like about the system, what I don't like, uh, and I'm sure you all have seen all kinds of installation videos step by step, and it's kind of dry, and I didn't want to waste all that time doing that anyway. So if you have any questions, actual install questions, feel free to leave it in the comments, and I, will, I promise I'll get back to you. The installation is easy, but the instructions are okay at best. They leave a couple things out of the instructions. It's just kind of a generic overview of what you need to do because there's several dif different systems. So if you look right here, the stage five is the one that they sent me. So you've got five, six, six alkaline, seven with a UV light and the alkaline filter setup and a stage five with a booster pump. And the only kit that does everything, including eliminating 99% of viruses and bacteria, is the stage seven UV and alkaline kit, uh, which I didn't get that much. That's not the one they sent me. They sent me the bare bones setup right here, stage five. But it, it does dirt and sediment filtration, chlorine and chemical filtration, removes cloud odor and odd tastes, um, removes over a thousand contaminants, and it works with city water. What it doesn't do is re eliminate the bacteria, increase natural minerals, and it doesn't have a power cord, which is good because it didn't have a, you know, like a booster pump or nothing. So if you're looking to possibly get one of these, you might want to just skip right to the stage seven because it's got everything. Um, like I said, the only thing I don't like is having to have a power cord to my water filter, but it is what it is. But it does all the things. So the Stage 5 setup is $179, and it's got 4.5 stars with 633 uh, rating score. So, not bad. Oh yeah, one thing kind of threw me off. Don't think just because this picture has a tablet in it, you're getting a tablet too. No, you don't get a tablet. The sediment filter, what this filter does, it removes the uh, suspended solids such as sand, silt, rust, sediment, and particles from the water. 
This precarbon filter says it absorbs organic contaminants such as chlorine, pesticides, herbicides, and bad taste. And the other one uh, removes organic contaminants such as chlorine. It looks like it does the same, so it's like kind of a double carbon filter. This one right here, it uh, removes chemicals such as metal, ions, salts, chlorine, copper, lead, fluoride, and many other harmful contaminants. And this filter right here just polishes the water, makes it taste better, and uh, removes bad taste, leftover bad taste, stuff like that. So basically what you got is you've got your water that goes into that white fitting, you go, you know, your, your water supply, and then you connect the red line to the bottom of that fitting. This is a safety shut off valve. If you got a leak or something like that, I really don't think this is necessary. You can totally leave that off. I think it's just done for like legal purposes. But anyway, water comes in this red line. You have to screw this fitting in here. There's another fitting on the back side that you screw in. So the water goes in through here, fills up all these filters, comes out the back side, and it comes through here, and it goes through this filter, comes out of this one, and comes into this one, and then it comes back out and fills up that tank. The blue line is what supplies the little lead-free faucet they sent you. And this is right like that, okay? Now one thing that I didn't know about reverse osmosis filters is that you have some water runoff. This black line right here is the drain from all of your filters. From my understanding, this is where all the funky water goes that's been pulled out of the water. This is the water you don't want goes down the drain. Now I've been using this water for about a week now. It tastes great. I mean, it's like drinking bottled water. And this is about as much water pressure as you get out of that lead-free faucet that he sent you. Um, the only thing where you need a tool is you have to have a drill bit, a quarter-inch drill bit, and drill a hole in your drain before the P-trap so your wastewater line has got a place to push into this little fitting here. That, I think that's really about the only tool I had to have um, other than a pair of cutters because I had to cut this red line to install it into that uh, safety leak stop valve which like I said you don't need that if, if if you get this kit just don't even install that that's that's dumb if you've got a water leak coming from this thing you've probably got other issues you, you know these right here are probably not tightened enough um, yeah that's that's dumb another thing that you need to know is when you first run the system and you fill the filters with water it's going to take a little while to fill this tank up because it's I didn't realize it was a fairly slow process. I constantly had water coming out of this drain for an hour and 20 minutes, maybe, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. Well, when I mean water, the wastewater coming off of the filters. Okay, it's getting about an hour to hour and 15 minutes. This thing will fill up and then it will stop draining off the wastewater. Let me fill this up and see if I can't pull that tank down enough and I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, see how the jar is filling up? There's no water going down the drain. That's the amount of water that comes off your filters while this tank is, is filling back up. Like I said, it, it will do this for about an hour. I've been drinking this water and cooking with it for a week or so, I believe. Maybe a little bit longer than a week. Tastes good. You know, the system, it's a quality system. I, I like it. I just wish that they would send you, they just had one kit and it did everything for say 200 bucks you didn't have to, you could get rid of the viruses and bacteria part of it and the alkaline part of it and you didn't have to worry about trying to upgrade i don't know if you can upgrade what you have once you buy like a stage five if can you upgrade to the stage six or stage seven i don't know so uh if you wanted to get this just go straight to the stage seven anyways folks i hope you like this video i hope it kind of gave you a little bit of uh information that maybe you can use to to purchase your own water uh, filtration system this again this is reverse osmosis um so yeah if you got any questions leave it in the comments below please like and subscribe and uh yeah i guess that's it so anyways i'll see you guys in the next one